with this economy that we're in right now, a lot of people they can't afford to, to keep their homes, let alone their pets. And so they're having to just they're just leaving them there. Um, unfortunately, they, they don't realize they can bring their animals to the Montgomery Humane Society and turn them in, at, you know, free of charge. Uh, and, and you know that's what that's what bothers us the most. They don't even think about that. Now that we've tried to make contact with the owner, we'll, we'll fill out a uh, it's an animal welfare warning citation. And basically, this is just a warning saying, "Hey, we've been out to your home. We need for you to uh, to contact us and let us know what's going on with your animals." Uh, in this situation, the power's been cut off, the water's been cut off, so it's a pretty good indication no one's staying here right now. Uh, so what we do is we leave the citation in, in a spot where any reasonable person can find it. And so what we do normally do is we just put it in the mailbox like that. So they can find it when they drive in, they'll see it sticking out of the mailbox. Uh, normally we'll give the people 24 hours to, to respond. If they don't respond within 24 hours, um, we know that, that nobody's been out here. We come back out here and do a recheck. We see the citation still in the mailbox. The, the situation hasn't changed. We'll go ahead and we'll seize the dogs. Um, you know, we, we, we do work some dog fighting. We've got some dog fighting going on that we're working on right now. Um, so hopefully those will pan out to be some, some pretty good cases. Um, next week we're going to be uh, doing a search warrant, so you know we're we're pretty excited about the, the getting the, the chance to fight the dog fighting. But yeah, we need to make reference to that too. I mean, dog fighting uh, obviously illegal. What is the penalty if you're convicted these days? Uh, it's, it's ten years in prison is the maximum you can get. Um, uh, they just uh, redid the fine, so I'm not sure what the the, the, the total fine is. The, sure. The, the maximum fine, but it's it's pretty up. It's up there. It's pretty high. Uh, but 10 years in prison for each count wow. uh, is the max uh, that you can get for dog fighting. And you've seen that in our area before? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've, we've, we definitely have dog fighting in our area. Uh, unfortunately, it's it's all across the United States. You know, it's, it's worldwide, actually. Um, but but here in Montgomery, you know, we, we do have a lot of the, the, the dog fighting here. But hard to catch them. But when we do catch them, it's... Uh, it's a great feeling because you know you've gotten those animals out of a bad situation and you're you're getting to prosecute someone for putting those animals in a um, in a, in a deadly blood sport. Um, the neglect calls that we normally get um, usually it's it's no food, no water, improper shelter, or no shelter. Sure. Um, dog on a on a small chain or a small lead, all tangled up within the bushes or trees or part of the house or something. Um, you know, that, that's, that's something we normally deal with on a regular basis. Um, abandonments, uh, you know, with this economy today, um, we have a lot of people that aren't even able to keep their homes. Um, right. they're, they're moving out of their homes, they're moving out of their apartments, uh, they're losing their jobs or whatever financial strain they have. And, and instead of bringing the animals to us free of charge, where we can find them another forever home, they're just leaving the animals there at the residence with nobody to take care of them. So we're dealing with a lot of that also. Wow, so a lot of different issues when it comes to animal cruelty and even here in our own backyard in Montgomery, Alabama. Yep. Well, there's three different ways you can contact us. If it's in the city limits, you can contact the Montgomery Police Department, or you can call us directly here at the Montgomery Humane Society. Our phone number here at the Humane Society is 409-0622. Just tell them that you need to make an animal cruelty complaint. Um, if it's in the county, you can call the Sheriff's Department, or you can also call us directly. Uh, but you can call your local law enforcement office, uh, officers or departments, sure. and, and you can call us directly here at the Humane Society to make a complaint. All right, that sounds fantastic. We've had a chance to see some of the different calls you've responded to, and we're going to continue right. to follow you for the next uh, few months on the show and uh, see great. how things go. Yeah, that'd be awesome. All right, great. that sounds good. Appreciate you, it. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.